Hello, my people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the part of the world where this video is reaching you at this moment, I say, may God see you in the point of your need in Jesus' name. The words of your hand is blessed. You shall triumph, you shall win. Winner is your name in whatever legit you are doing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, my people, my people. I want to welcome you all to my channel once again. Uh, there is a burning issue I want to discuss here at this my channel, you know. Uh, this has been what we have been talking about in Nigeria and uh, Africa in general. Uh, the kind of politics we play in Africa. Because this issue, the topic I want us to treat here today, it's not only prevalence in Nigeria. It's been a, 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 it's a, like, like always say, it has been a canker war. It has been a, a, the, the, the devil that has been keeping Africa, Nigeria, down from developing, from getting or reaching its maximum potentials as a country and a, as a nation. You know, if you see it in every country, it has been a problem bad leaders, bad leadership. It has been a problem of Africa. What am I trying to say in essence? What I am trying to say in essence, you know, I want you to give me five minutes or ten minutes of your time, you know, to listen to what I'm, uh, I'm going to discuss here. You know, uh, we, we all are aware of the trending video uh, on Twitter and social media generally, you know, about uh, what this guy said, uh, the immediate uh, past governor of uh, Kaduna State, in the name of uh, Malam El Rufai, Malam El Rufai, you know, he was governor for eight years in Kaduna State. You know, let's let's just take a a, a look at uh, El Rufai. Eight years performance in retrospect in Cardinal State. Elfai broke the, uh, will I call it a agreement or protocol or the system that had been in place in Cardinal State. This existing agreement is that a governor, is a, if a governor is a, is a, a Christian, is deputy must be a Muslim. If a governor is a Muslim, his deputy must be a Christian. So this system has been on in Cardona State, you know, uh, and uh, it was a ticket that brought Erufai as a governor. His deputy, his first deputy was a, a Christian and he was a Muslim. You know, as his uh, as his time in office pro uh, progresses, or after it seems after his uh, first time, or yeah, after his first time, you know, he refused to pick to you know uh, to continue with the agreement of um, a Muslim Christian ticket in Kaduna State. He breached the contract. He broke the deal. He now had a. A Muslim Muslim ticket in Cardinal State. You know, it is on record that Cardinal State witnessed one of the highest massive ethnic and religious killings in Nigeria, Southern Kaduna in particular. The rate of killing that happened in Southern Kaduna. The rate of mass murder that happened in Southern Kaduna. This thing happened unabated. And there was, and there was a governor. The governor did little or nothing to stop the invaders and the killers from killing people of Southern Kaduna. You know, it was a record. It was alleged that the governor of... Uh, the former governor of Kaduna State alleged that anybody that kills a funeral man that is, even though it's a hundred years, that they must surely retaliate. They must surely retaliate what is happened, what happened to a 
phone animal, you know. So many things happened. Even if there was a time, Erufai said that even though that he had paid some killers, killer herdsmen or killer Funani herdsmen or whoever, that had already paid them to stop killing people of Southern Kaduna. You know, there's a lot of things that happen, you know. This keeps me wondering the kind of leaders we have in Nigeria and Africa. You know, the tape released where he saw making a remark. He was making a remark, he was boasting, making a bold statement how they have succeeded in Islamizing Kaduna State. And uh, you know, he proudly said that they that he deceived, they deceived the Christian community, the Christian dawn in Nigeria, that Muslim Muslim ticket is not about the Islamization of Nigeria. You know, that they, they deceived the Christians. He was boldly mocking the Christian Association of Nigeria. You know, he, he went on to make a statement, you know, that uh, that they have succeeded in Islamization of Nigeria, you know, in making sure that the, the president and, the, and, and his vice is a Muslim, Muslim, is a Muslim, and vice is a Muslim, that is a Muslim, Muslim ticket, you know. And uh, he went further, he further stated that the Muslims will rule Nigeria for the next 20 years, that the Christians shall never rule them again. You know, it's, it's quite unfortunate, you know, when I listen to the video and the translation and the, the commentaries and comments on people, you know, people are quite disappointed, you know. These politicians are in the north. From opinion, the, uh, the, the, the major problem, the, the major problem of Nigeria, tell me what Erufai have achieved in Kaduna State. He have, he have what have achieved? He has achieved planting of ethnic and uh, religious division in Kaduna State and Nigeria by extension. This Erufai that is making noise of Islamiz Islamization of Nigeria, he acquired Western education. He schooled studied in England. England is a, a Christian Western country. He studied there. And I'm very, I'm very much aware that his, that his uh, children are getting Western education, are studying in Europe, America, or UK. I'm quite sure of that. His kids are getting Western education. It didn't take them to Saudi Arabia or Sudan, you know, let them learn one Islamic uh, study or the other and let it end there. Is they are all acquiring Western civilization. They all have Western education. In the north, they have used religion as a, as a weapon to impoverish their people. They are used they are used religion as a means of keeping their own people down. Because at every four years, they will see all the politicians, they will come and telling the people, oh, vote this person, this person is not a Christian, this person is sorry, this person is not a Muslim, this person is a Christian, oh, you must vote for your Muslim candidate, oh, you must continue the jihad, you must continue this uh, Islamization of Nigeria, the Muslim dominance. And they come to think of it. Who Muslim help and who Christian help? Buhari was a, is a Muslim. He ruled Nigeria for eight years. The eight years he ruled Nigeria, does it mean that the, the, the Muslims in northern Nigeria, they are enjoying life. There is a 24 hours electricity in the north. There is where this petrol, this uh, petrol, there's where they are buying it very, very cheap. There's where the Muslims are buying the food very, very cheap. You can see this is a way the tools the northern uh, uh, elites are using to head the people down. The northern Nigeria is the, uh, let me say, is the, uh, the, the, 
the, uh, the poverty capital of Nigeria. Go there and see hunger, illiteracy, beggars, amajiris, whatever. People are dying of hunger. He didn't convert that energy to improve the lives of millions of the people of Kaduna or northern Nigeria who are very, very poor. You cannot even eat to improve your life. Give them basic education. Eh? Provide them the, 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 the necessities. But you cannot do that. But you are using religion to poison their mind. To tell them that it is Islamization of Nigeria. Who is who Islamization of Nigeria help? People are dying in abject poverty, in hunger. There is so much killings in your state. There's so much insecurity in the northern Nigeria. People are dying left and right. What a country. What matters the, the, the most of the elites, elites in the north, northern politicians, it's all about religion, religion, religion. Because they know, because they have made the people poor and the people there are not educated. They know that uh, the issue of religion is very sensitive in the northern Nigeria. What a shame. What a shame. It didn't improve the economic life of the people of your region, your state. What matters to you? What is shame? What is problem with an African, African Nigerian leaders? What is their problem? What matters to you is uh, you are happy whether the guy at the uh, uh, helm of affairs, whether they are, uh, 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 what they call it, whether uh, they are qualified to be there, whether they can deliver or not. What matters most is that which religion is coming from, which tribe is it coming from. Who did this to Africa? Who did this to Nigeria? Instead of giving, uh, bringing somebody that gave quality leadership, what matters, what concerns them most is the religion, where it's coming from, where it's coming from. You see, that is why Africa, Nigeria, we, we see the men where they are. That is why as the poverty, we see be a canker war. Poverty, we see strife. Nigeria is the poverty capital of the world. And then you find this poverty, poor people, mostly in the northern region. You find them mostly in the northern region. They have the land, you have the big men, you have the last of Dangote, all the big guys in oil sector. All of them are located in the north. Your problem is just Islamization, Islamization. You go to Dubai and see what is happening there. The Emir of Dubai built the church, the Catholic church in, in, uh, in Dubai. The Emir of Dubai built it. The one of the biggest mosques in Dubai, they named it, uh, the name of the mosque was uh, Mary, Mother of Jesus. That was, the name, that was the name of the mosque in Dubai. Google it, Mary, Mother of Jesus Mosque. They are not using the religion to help their, their people down. Go to Doha, Qatar. They are striving, doing excellently. Christians there are worshipping. They even have a lot of Christians to build churches and they, and they freely worship their God, whatever. They are not heading them back. It's only Nigeria that we use religion as a tool to head our people, to deceive our people. What a shame. What a shame. What a shame. I say it. In a Senate climb, somebody like uh, Erufai, must have been in jail by now. You know, you know that the the the, the, the uh, uh, what the roles he played. The roles he played in the past. It all is all afresh in our minds. Somebody like uh, the immediate past president of Nigeria. You know, he was able to win the uh, the election, the election because uh, people see him as a, 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 a religious fanatic, religious fanatic. Tell me, Buhari eight years in office, did he elevate, eliminate poverty in the north? I was, he was a Muslim. He was a, he was a core Muslim, a fanatic one, to say. Did it uh, reduce or eliminate poverty, massive poverty in the north? It didn't. It didn't. There's a massive poverty in the northern Nigeria. Instead of you to promote good governance, we are dividing the people within uh, 
tribal and the religious lines, telling them Muslim this, Muslim that. Who Muslim and Christians help? The countries have moved forward. Countries have moved beyond this. Countries have moved beyond ethnicity and religion. What we found ourselves is a religious bigos in Nigeria. You run a Muslim Muslim ticket, you're happy you have you have shame they can. What a shame, what a shame, what a shame. The world can see the kind of people in the helm of us affairs in Nigeria. The world can see the kind of politicians we have in Nigeria. Ethnic bigots, tribal bigots, religious bigots. Look at what is happening in, in Kaduna State, your state. In the, last, in the last week, last hours of your regime, you started demolishing all the, most of the churches there, demolishing it. Brazenly, open the demolition it. There was so much, so much killing. The Christian dominated area in the southern Kaduna. There was so much killing, killing them. And they did nothing to stop it. They did nothing to stop it. They were, the killers are unknown. They were killing from village to village, from village to village, from village to village to the next village. Nothing was done. What? And it was reported within this week, within, within this week, within the first week of uh, Tinibu, 80 people, more than 80 people have been killed. I think this is a wake up all for Tinibu to do the needful. I thought if uh, if uh, we have, uh, if uh, this guy comes to power, if Tinibu comes to power after May 29, that these killings, these killings of people, eh, or armed civilians, should stop. But surprisingly, it still goes on unabated. And nobody be nobody even been arrested. Nobody even been arrested. These guys are still in the bush, killing the innocent people in the villages. Well, go help Nigeria. Go help Nigeria. Uh -huh. No, one day, one day. They said, if you read in the Bible, they said nothing lasts forever. Not, nothing lasts forever. One day, one day, we shall come to the end of this, this rascality, this evil, this evil, this evil people have Nigeria. They don't care. They don't care about it. The lives of people doesn't want anything for them. The people of people doesn't want. People are growing faster taking of the next thing for their country. What matters most in Nigeria is uh, Islamization and uh, who is the president, whether he are qualified or not. As far as he are not a Muslim, uh, he, are not, uh, he cannot be in the helm of affairs. He cannot, your best cannot rule you. So tell me, tell me when, he, when your best doesn't govern you, it doesn't allow your best to be in the position of authority. Tell me how you are going to develop how we are going to make it as a country. Well, thank you guys. Let me not uh, bother you much on this uh, issue. So I said, let me drop the, this topic as the hop sharp sharp. And uh, let me know what, uh, what you think about this outburst uh, of uh, the governor of uh, Kaduna State, the incessant comment, the incessant uh, religious comment he has been making in Kaduna State. Tell me what you think about it in the comment section. And uh, please, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And share this video to your friends so that this video shall get to a, a wider audience. Thank you, and God bless you. Bye-bye.